Hi, my name is Glenn Gibson and I'm a Product Marketing Manager at Highland Software. I welcome you to our session, Demystifying ECM Part 2, What Can ECM Do For You? In Part 1 of this series, we really delved into the complex landscape of technology, which fall under the ECM umbrella, and we gave you some suggestions for how to get started, how to even begin making sense of everything that's available so that you know how to choose what is correct for your organization. Well, in this session, we're going to delve really deeply into what ECM can do for organizations like yours. Now, your organization is unique with a unique set of challenges and a unique customer base and a unique offering in your space. And what we want to look at today then is how can ECM apply for you individually? Now, when we look at the benefits of ECM, I started thinking about something my mom used to say uh, when I was younger, that the proof is in the pudding, an expression which says, don't tell me how good something is, let me taste it for myself. So how are we going to let you taste what ECM can do in a virtual session like this? Well, we're going to do that by allowing you to have a little bite-sized taste of what ECM has already done for organizations like yours. We're going to look at a wide range of different companies, small to large, across a, a wide variety of different industries, and we're going to see what ECM has done for them, and we'll, we'll take quotes right from the words of the mouths of the ones who work there. And we're going to delve into this ECM pudding in three areas. We're going to look at how ECM has been able to remove paper, been able to improve um, the processes and also be able to better leverage existing programs and applications which are already there. Because as we know, um, for many organizations, the reality is that your information and paper uh, is scattered on paper and in many electronic documents across many different systems going through multiple different business processes. So how can ECM bring all this together? Well, that's what we're going to look at. So we're going to take these one by one. And the first one we're going to look at, very simply, is paper. Now, when it comes to paper in an organization, paper has three main impacts. That is that of space, of cost, and of the impact on productivity. And we're going to take these one at a time. So in our first topic, let's delve into what ECM can do to solve your paper woes. Let's look at space first of all. And we're going to address this from a point of view from the University of Notre Dame, and let's see what they had to say. Mike Seeley there said that paper was taking up an incredible amount of room, and they were simply running out of space. They hadn't had nowhere else to put it. So what they did simply is they scanned their paper, and they were able to free up all that valuable space. That's the basic concept. We can reclaim valuable space that we're paying for and repurpose for something else. Now, the while, and we're going to talk a bit more about the University of Notre Dame later on, but let's switch gears and talk about how this impacted a very large healthcare organization, and that's Sharp Healthcare. They took, a, by doing scanning, they turned a file room, which was previously just sitting there holding files, obviously, into a much more useful training room where they could begin to train their employees with that space. But notably, and I think one of the really interesting examples and applications of ECM by Sharp Healthcare was this. When they went to build and plan a new facility, a new healthcare facility, when it came to designing the corridors and the patient rooms and the blueprints of that building, because they knew that they were not going to be carting paper files around on carts, they were able to design their healthcare facility to have smaller corridors and larger patient rooms. Yes, removing paper had a massive impact on how that whole facility was even designed in the first place. This is further underlined by the Colorado Housing and Finance Authority. They freed up 1,000 square feet of space, saving themselves about 1,700 $175,000 annually. Now, interestingly and ironically enough, the Colorado Housing Authority freed up the space of a small house by removing their paper and saved about the price of a small house as well. 
Again, stark savings when it comes to just being able to remove paper from the walls of our organizations and then being able to do something better with it. So ask yourself, how much are you spending to store paper? As you look around and you see filing cabinets or file rooms, the reality of ECM is all of that can go away. You can stop paying for storing all of that and save money and do something much better with that space. So that's the space savings. Well, how, what about the cost savings to do with reducing paper, our next point? Well, Emerson Climate Technologies, an organization um, under the Emerson umbrella, uh, particularly focusing on refrigerant uh, type devices, were spending a lot of money on paper. In fact, they were ordering pallets of green bar paper for printing out reports from their systems that they then stored in boxes. And we mentioned some of this concepts in part one of our ECM um, session. They were spending $125,000 a year on paper. So when they went to ECM and applied cold ERM technologies, that was an instant savings right there. Now more than that, they were also printing forms, paper forms for people to fill out. And that may be a reality for you as well. Well, they were spending $15,000 a year on these forms. Well, when they implemented their ECM system, by creating electronic versions of these forms and allowing these forms to be filled out online, they were able to stop paying for these forms to be printed and that accounted to an instant savings of $15,000 per year. So if you're paying for forms, this is another expense that can go away. Now, Tim Arthur, the director, IT director of Emerson Climate Technologies, made this quote. He said that they've saved more than $2.9 million, mostly in paper costs alone. Now that is tangible and it's also real. So you think to yourself, how much are you spending on paper? Talk to your operations department and ask how much do you spend on paper and, and then think how much do you, or calculate, how much does it cost you to keep running the printers and the toners and all the type of print, uh, print costs that go around printing as well? Because these can go away with ECM. And then let's look at the third point with paper. So first of all, we talked about space and cost savings. Well, what about increasing productivity? Tim Arthur at Emerson Climate Technologies went on to talk about the, the bigger benefits really beyond just the cost savings. And this is an amazing quote. He said, OnBase, their ECM solution, changed the lives of their AP clerks. He went on to say it had huge consequences on their productivity because it eliminated their frustration and sped up their ability to get answers. Now that is music to the ears of any employee who has to get answers quickly to be able to service the customers. And then remember the Colorado Housing and Finance Authority, the ones who had saved the size of a small house, $175,000 already on just space savings. They went on to elaborate. They had said, Brian Muller here had said that retrieving a paper file previous to their ECM solution could take anywhere from three to 12 minutes. With OnBase, their users were able to pull up that exact same document in one to three seconds. That is a massive difference and a massive increase in productivity for those employees. And overall, he estimates that they have saved more than $600,000 a year just with faster retrieval, just by being able to electronically access those documents with the increased productivity from, from their employees, which is amazing. And in total, um, the Colorado Housing and Finance Authority estimate that they save $1 million a year with their ECM solution, with all these costs combined. Again, tangible cost savings, which are amazing. Then we think about the University of Notre Dame. We talked about them at the outset. So they had realized the need to reclaim space because they were running out of room. Well, once they realized these benefits, they then took this to the next level by allowing access to their documents stored within their ECM system to people out with their organization. And this is a great quote here from Mike Seeley. He said that answering calls right away is great because they can access the information immediately, but eliminating the need to make those calls is even better. 
And this is how they did it. They securely put documents online so that the customers there could check for themselves and access their documents and see whether the documents were there or not. So again, being able to take customer service to a whole new level, increasing productivity again on the inside because you're freeing up that employee time from even having to take the call in the first place. So ask yourself, how much time do you spend looking for documents? Or how much time do your employees spend looking for documents or finding answers for customers? Because that is something that can be dramatically increased by removing paper through an ECM system. So in summary of this section, the three main benefits of removing paper are benefiting from more space because you can reclaim that valuable space, increased cost savings because you are no longer having to pay for much of that paper, and then increased productivity as well, very tangible benefits. Now the best thing is, it's not hard to do or to get started because you can begin an ECM solution very simply uh, we'll go back to Sharp Healthcare. Now think about that organization. When you talk about patient medical records and you talk about the vision of having a hospital with less paper, that's a formidable challenge to take on board. Well, this is what Kathy Furman, the IT manager there said. That they started with a low cost solution in their claims department. And once they got that working, they then rolled it out incrementally to other departments. Now she went on to say, that she talked to other IT directors from other hospitals or other personnel from other hospitals. And they were a bit overwhelmed by ECM because they felt like it had to be this huge project where everything was done at once. Well, they didn't take that approach. They started incrementally, they got quick wins, and then they expanded their solution from there. So those were the benefits of paper. So hopefully that's a good taste for what removing paper through ECM can do for your organization. Let's move on to the next bite of the pudding, which is processes. And what do we mean by improving processes? Well, here's a quote from uh, the manager of the intranet services at Cracker Barrel, a large organization um, who uh, make great breakfasts and various foods in, uh, in the United States. Now they said, going paperless with OnBase brings efficiencies and control to business process workflows that usually begin with a piece of paper. So this is where we make that bridge from once the paper has been captured and all digitized, you can start doing really smart things with it by putting it through electronic business processes. And Mary here really summed up the two main points. She focused in on efficiencies and control. And that's the two areas we're going to talk about with processes just now. So let's talk about efficiencies. How can ECM with the electronic workflow and processing uh, improve efficiencies. We've got a few examples to share with you. Now the first one is Monmouth University. They had slow paper-based processes which was holding up four particular areas in their business. Enrollment management, undergraduate and graduate admissions, so as they're trying to attract and retain and get the right students in, and then financial aid and processing. So um, if you're familiar with any type of higher education facility, you understand there's a lot of information required to support all of these processes. This is what they said. Having OnBase has allowed us to decrease revenue time, increase the accuracy of our data, and routinely meet or exceed our deadlines across the board in these areas. And now the most significant part is when they said meet or exceed our deadlines, they then went on to say that they were able to make decisions one month earlier than they were before when all of those um, processes were done using pieces of paper. So again, amazing efficiencies which are benefit that are brought to an organization. Then look, we talk about the state of South Carolina, totally different type of, of organization. Well, they had 183 state agencies scattered across the state, serving about 4 million residents. And when it came to some of their processes, they had documents and invoices um, being processed at each branch, which were then getting couriered to, the head, to, the, to their headquarters, which was in the state capital of Columbia. And then they would get processed there and then the checks cut and then sent back out. And then if there was a problem in this process, the paper would get sent back, 
to the, the, the place of origin, it would get reprocessed and it would be sent back again. Now, Glenn Voss here, the information technology manager in the state of South Carolina, reminisces that paper was traveling all over the state. And this is what he went on to say. Now that whole paper workflow has been completely eliminated. Um, the, whole, the whole paper flow has been completely eliminated with electronic workflows. Instead of mailing documents or couriering them to, uh, to Columbia, they image the documents right on site by scanning it and then those documents have become immediately available within the system. And actually they integrated their ECM system on base with their SAP solution. And we'll talk about a bit more in integrations uh, shortly. The benefits for them were that each invoice they were able to calculate with all that paper backwards and for forwards was costing them about $23 per invoice to process. Now the recommended kind of standards for invoice processing for organizations like this is between five and ten dollars. So by, able to, by being able to reduce the costs associated with processing each single invoice, the estimated total savings for this organization was seven million dollars just with these processes alone. So again, stark and real savings. And we also then talk about the Pennsylvania Treasury Department they had a lot of paper which they were battling to tackle the unemployment process. Now, if you imagine having to process unemployment checks, it's a very time sensitive thing to do. Now, this um, uh, organization had some unique challenges because the higher governmental authorities would stop the flow of unemployment checks and then turn them back on again with different or, or, or change the regulations around them. So there was a lot for this department to do to kind of keep up with any backlog that, that would accumulate when the regulations changed, um, stopping the flow of the checks or, or however it worked out. This is what they said. Within a four or five day period, we were able to post to bank accounts or debit cards in excess of 600,000 much needed payments. But the next quote really is what sums it up. The notion that we could manage the recent demand for unemployment checks without OnBase is inconceivable. They recognized that their ECM system was bringing them benefits, that they would simply would not be able to cope with their workload without having the system in place. And look at the amazing cost benefits. By automating their processes with OnBase, they realized a return on investment almost immediately, and they avoid $30 million in costs a year by being able to improve the efficiency around this process. Again, amazing, stark, and real benefits from ECM. So those cover some of the efficiencies with uh, making your processes electronic. Well, how about the control on your processes? Well, let's talk about Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance. This is an organization who basically insure other insurance companies. Let's see what they said. They talked about life before their ECM solution and said that they had no documentation of what the customer really requested and no way of backing up those, cha those changes. And of course, that would raise huge legal and retention compliance concerns. Now that they have their processes controlled electronically with their ECM solution, they say that they can see exactly what's happening in their processes. And when they find a problem, they can fix it before it gets out of hand. The control that is brought to electronic processes is unsurpassed. So when it comes to making your processes more efficient with ECM and making them electronic with electronic routing of documents through an organization, it brings efficiencies and control to your business that were impossible to have our level that was impossible to get to without ECM. So, so far we've talked about the benefits of removing paper and then um, improving your processes. And that takes us on to our third and, and final bite of the, the ECM pudding, which are programs. So again, and hopefully you're getting to see that the benefits of this are real and tangible. So what do we mean by programs? How can ECM improve the programs that you've already invested in? Well, let's recap something that we brought up in part one. The ability for an ECM solution which will contain all of your important documents and information in one system to then be able to integrate directly with your other applications. 
because the documents which are contained in an ECM system relate directly to activity which happens in your other business systems. It's there supporting that activity. Rather than an employee having to get up from their desks and go to a filing cabinet or somewhere else or to a random file share to find the document they need, they can quickly get it from their ECM system. Well, integrating your ECM system with your other business applications brings another level of efficiency because you are able to then deliver through the click of a button or a, a click on the keyboard, the documents from your ECM system right to the screen that those employees are already using. So not only do the employees not need to get up from their desks to find the information they need, they don't even need to look away from the screen that they were already looking at. The document can appear right there. So that's the whole point of integrating uh, information. Get the information instantly directly from the screen that you're already looking at. So what's the benefits of doing this? Well, here they are. You can better leverage your existing investments and you can keep training costs for your ECM system to an absolute minimum. And here's what people have to say about the benefits of integrating their ECM system with their other business applications. Let's revisit Sharp Healthcare, who had some already great benefits. And remember, what's interesting about Sharp Healthcare is they started very small in, in one department, and then they grew their solution into a very uh, mature ECM solution, even integrating with their other applications. And this is what they said about their solution of choice. It's easy to integrate. We integrate with Lawson for accounts payable. We have solutions for CERN and Millennium and Allscripts Home Care. And this was great. She said, if you walk up to employees today and said, how do you like working in OnBase? They'd say, I don't work in OnBase. I work in GE Centricity Business or I work in CERN or Millennium. Because the training for them was absolutely minimal. They continued working in the application that they were working in and they were told rather than getting up and looking for the document, just click over there in the document which will appear immediately. Cleveland Clinic, another massive healthcare organization, also found great benefits of integrating their ECM solution with their other business applications. And they made 1.9 million documents from their ECM system available directly through their business application that they use, which was an application called Epic, very popular in healthcare. And they said this, the integration with Epic was seamless. We're just electronically enabling the physician's normal workflow. And then finally, there really wasn't any end user training. Now for a healthcare facility, how important is that? For physicians and healthcare professionals, would much rather uh, spend time with the patients than learning new software. And that's the reality of what integration can do for your organization to keep training to a minimum. And finally, we'll talk about Horry County, where they integrated ECM, their ECM system with their GIS, their um, geospatial mapping uh, software. So they have software which contains maps of, um, of areas, and buildings where they can then link documents directly into those maps. And this is what um, Tim Oliver said, that they were blown away when they saw how much easier their lives got. They were amazed, they thought it was fantastic. And if you can do that for your employees, I'm sure you'd be very popular in your organization. So that brings us to the end of our, end of our pudding bowl, so to speak. Um, we talked about, in recap, the three main benefits and gave you a taste of what these can do for your organization by removing paper, improving your processes, and integrating with your existing programs. And let's just summarize the benefits we've talked about so far. You can reclaim valuable space and do better things with it. You can save a lot of money on the paper costs alone, and you can improve productivity just by being able to electronically access your information. Those three benefits come from the most simple ECM solution. And remember, you can start ECM very straightforward and very simple, get started in one department, make those documents available electronically, get those quick wins, and then roll into other departments. When you're ready to start making your processes electronic, you now know that you can bring great efficiencies, which in turn cause amazing cost savings or bring amazing cost savings to your existing processes. 
as well as giving you a level of control and insight into your processes, which were impossible when, when everything's traveling around on paper documents. And then further, to integrate your ECM system with your existing applications, you better leverage the existing investments you've already made and you keep user training for this whole solution to a minimum because the users don't have to learn any new software, they just know that the applications they were already using just got a little bit smarter. So those are the benefits. For more information on what ECM can do for you, there's a supplemental document to this session which provides links to every single case study that we referenced in this session. So if, you, if any of these appeal to you and you would like more information, you can go ahead, download this document and click directly on the link to those along with some of the highlights of those. As well as that, we encourage you to go to www.highland.com and there you can read case studies when you can sort these by your industry or by department and see really the benefits of ECM. So today we only gave a slight small taste of what ECM can do. There's, and the benefits that we describe for these few organizations is repeated time and time and time again. And there's plenty of information to generate ideas for what your ECM solution can do for you. So right there on highland.com in our resource center, you will find many case studies that you can filter by your particular industry and or department. And then also you'll find this and other sessions, of course, living on highland.com as well when it comes to general ECM knowledge. And we encourage you to take advantage of these resources also. If you'd like any more information, click on contact us and we would love to talk to you about your individual ECM needs or answer any basic questions that you would still have. We invite you then to stay tuned for the third part of this series. What is the cost of doing nothing? This will be the final part where we find ourselves, after understanding what ECM can do for ourselves, how do we then move forward with a project? So with that, I thank you for your attention today. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you virtually in the third part of this session. Thank you.